the past year has uncovered and deepened a chasm that exists within Jewish communities the world over and primarily between the state of Israel and the American Jewish community. Often, the rift has become so deep that even some pro-Israel American Jewish leaders are openly reconsidering their support of the Jewish state. But as long as we can talk about our problems, we can also make matters right, and Yom Kippur is the best time to reflect on our actions in light of the adverse worldwide developments toward Jews. Avoiding our mission. The most important part in the Yom Kippur service comes after reading the Torah portion. It is called Haftarah, and in it, we read selections from the prophets. On Yom Kippur, the text of the Haftarah is the book of Jonah. In many communities, the wealthy pay hefty sums of money for the right to read this Haftarah, as it is known to be a segula, endowing power, for gaining, even more, riches. Jonah's story is special. It speaks of a prophet who first tried to dodge his mission, but finally repented. Another notable point about Jonah is that his mission did not concern the people of Israel, but rather the Gentile city of Nineveh. Today, in light of the rising anti-Semitism, it is more pertinent than ever to reflect on the message behind Jonah's story. God orders prophet Jonah to warn the residents of the great city of Nineveh that they have corrupted their ways. Put differently, Jonah must warn them that they have become so mean that their society is unsustainable. The prophet's task was to restore the relationships among the residents of Nineveh or they would all be destroyed. However, Jonah decides to evade his task and tries to flee by ship.